Hello and welcome everyone to yet another episode of Tech Update with Tech ESMS. And in this series, I used to cover all the latest tech updates happened during the span of the month in the field of DIY electronics, IoT and makers community in general, which includes all the latest news that were announced during this month, all the latest development boards and products that were released during this month, and also I used to cover all the latest and interesting DIY projects that were uploaded in the span of the month. And these are all kind of information which you all must be aware about being the part of the community. So now if you're interested in knowing these all kind of information from a single source, then make sure you subscribe to the channel because I used to upload this kind of video every month. And that being said, let us start with Tech Update with Tech ASMS August 2021 edition. Let's get started. So first update is coming from the India Automation Challenge 2021. Now I have already covered this contest in the previous uh, tech update video, but there is one more update in this particular contest, which is they have extended their, uh, what we can say, registration date. So earlier the registration date or the last date of registration was 15th of August, but they have extended 30 days and now it's 15th of September. So now uh, you still have time to register if you haven't registered for this contest. And to know more about this particular contest, I'll leave the link of my previous tech update video in the description of this video and also the event announcement video in the description. Do watch that out to know about this contest and make sure you participate if you have an interesting automation project. Moving on to the next update which is coming from Bolt IoT and it's again a challenge which is announced in this month and it's called as Snippet Challenge. Now those who have used Bolt IoT platform must already be knowing that uh, Snippet is kind of a pre-written code uh, using which a new user can easily start using the Bolt IoT platform without writing any single line of code. Uh, if you're not use the bold IoT, let me just show you. Uh, when you click on this particular uh, import example code, you, you get these all kind of options and these are nothing but the snippets provided, okay? So by just clicking them, you can get this whole code ready to be used, okay? So they have announced on challenge, uh, like they have opened up this to users, like you can you come to their platform and write your own snippet code and the best snippet uh, which is like uh, based on these all criteria so if you have the best snippet for the bolt ID platform you may get the prizes like the amazon echo dot and the certificate of merit okay so this is the contest announced so if you're interested in making the snippet or if you already use bolt iot platform want to contribute in this community well you can go on to uh, like this platform and apply for this particular challenge its last date is 10th of okay sorry it's opening date was 10th of august while the last date of submission is 5th of september so you have a very limited time if you want to apply for this contest okay moving on to the next update which is coming from okay it is coming from mit technology review now just look at this video this is a super duper we can say a prototype of a chameleon robot so we all know chameleon has a super power like a supernatural power to change the color of their body according to the surface on the which they are sitting or crawling okay so mit people tried to make their replicate that same fundamental into robotics so they have made this robotic chameleon uh whose skin color changes changes based on the surface as you can see as he's moving towards the green one all his body like material is changing to the green one as he move ahead to the blue surface as you can see slowly everything is changes changing to blue color like this is awesome and when you go through this article you'll come to know that uh, they have used couple of uh, uh, color sensors like using color sensors and tiny heaters made of silver nanowires and thermochromic materials which change the color exposed to different temperature okay so these all are kind of materials they have used for making this chameleon robot and they also have mentioned here that uh, they it can like the chameleon skin is basically kind of a display whose color can be changed based, based upon the color sensor data okay so this is the fundamental they have used to uh, what we can say make this chameleon robot and uh, that this is a great achievement as you can see it's working completely smooth okay so that's a amazing project or rather research coming from the mit technology review i'll leave the link of this as well in the description moving on to the next update quickly which is coming from espressive so it's all about the new product release in this particular month so espressive announced a new esp32 chip called as esp32 h2 now this is an amazing chip like why is it amazing it's just because so till now we have used the esp32 boards that comes with built-in wi-fi and bluetooth okay and that to bluetooth 4.2 or something something version this time they have included wi-fi they have included bluetooth 5.0 
plus they have included the protocols like thread and zigbee which are the popular protocols for the mesh communication in the field of internet of things or interconnected devices okay so one single chip with with all these four five communication protocols just in a single chip okay so this is an amazing chip they have announced um, there is no such uh, news of any boards uh, uh, upcoming boards based on this chip but they just announced the chip as of now in future we'll definitely able to see the development boards coming on this particular chipset and we can make an awesome interconnected intercommunicating devices with the help of this ESP32 so that's an amazing chip announcement made by Espressive straight away moving on to the next update which is coming from the Lilico now these two companies like Lilico and M5 Stack are kind of companies who are making a product or rather development boards that actually looks like a product, a real life consumer grade product. If I talk about this particular uh, T Watch 2021, then this is their upcoming product. Okay, this is not yet released, but this is a smart watch. And earlier they were announced this T Watch 2020, which was the previous generation of their watch, but uh, they have uh, like upgraded it to the 2021 edition with a circular display with a touch screen and fully functional smart watch that or it has all the functions that you can expect from a smart watch okay so they are designing this particular thing just look at this this is complete i think it's an ips display but still not sure and this is a 3d printed structure but they are kind of a bridging the gap between a consumer grade product and a development board they are like somewhere in between it's not completely a development board it's not completely a product it's somewhere in between and both the lily go and m5 stack are like moving on to that same direction so i'm gonna love it like in future we may be able to see the makers wearing their own uh we can say gadgets like the smart watches like the development board based gadgets okay this is one of the examples like in future if i get the smart watch i used to like <laughs> Pull out, put out the smartphone and like wear the smartphone which will look much more cool and it will feel make us feel like a maker okay so that's the one update coming from the Liligo uh, a new product announcement uh, next is again from M5 Stack and as I said they are like moving on to the consumer level and this is another example of that this is called as thermal online and this has a thermal camera and a, and a screen on the back side with all the functional buttons so this is basically an M5 Stack a module only along with the thermal camera and it works as a thermal imaging camera a consumer grade product you can say you know a development board consumer based product somewhere in between so these are the somewhere in between products i'm gonna love this all okay yet another update from m5 stack which is again somewhere in between product we can say so it's like tweeted as let us station okay so this gives us a hint the name of the product which is station and the new product is called as m5 station okay so these are all the 3d printed cases and the hardware here and they also tweeted some more we can say highlight of this product as you can see this is the sticker and if we go to the sticker we can come to know that this is based on esp32 board like has all the m5 tech products are obviously based on esp32 board but they also have the what we can say current sensor i have seen somewhere where this okay here it is the current meter they have announced i'm not able to completely like understand is it a current sensor built in or what, what it is but it, it it reveals or it states that current meter not able to completely understand it no neither they have given any detail as well so we can't guess anything as of now but yeah this is all kind of a, a new product they have tweeted on twitter and there is one more image which is like the working of that particular thing let's look at this this looks like an actual consumer grade product which is installed somewhere in the industries for controlling all the machines and it looks something like that only right isn't it like i feel like first impression feels like it is an industrial grade product ready to be installed at some industry for controlling all the machines that's the m5 stack m5 station you can see okay so this is also an upcoming project uh, upcoming product it's not yet released okay next update is coming from expressive system okay so this is also kind of an in-between product as i said okay so what is this this is the esp box so as we all know like esp the expressive company like started from the iot now they are moving on to aiot that we have already discussed like uh what do you can say artificial intelligence internet of things ai plus iot AIoT. They are moving on to that particular domain and this is the product that will help us to take to that particular domain. Okay, so this is called as ESP box which is uh, ESP32 S3 chip based dual core processor AI instruction 16 MB of RAM Wi-Fi plus BLE 
LCD touchscreen and dual microphones for AI speech interface. It has the speakers, it has a 22.4 degree matching angle, a docking station. So you can like imagine like a small little assistant sitting at your desk. You can ask that assistant for maybe showing this like an Alexa smart speaker, okay? This can be your own personal assistant. Like you can give the command to it, it will display all the information on that touchscreen display. You can tell this to control your home or offices. You can tell this to do all the tasks. So this is kind of an AIoT project, AIoT product that uh, Espressif has announced. And uh, I'm really excited to get hands on with this particular thing. It seems very interesting because till now we only worked on IoT, but now I'm, I'm eager to go for AIoT as well. So yeah, Espressif is doing on to that particular domain. Okay. So yeah, that was all about the new products. And now it's the time to reveal all the latest interesting projects I particularly like the most and probably you will like to as well, okay? And uh, let's start with the uh, this first project is coming from Robotics Kanti. Now, see Robotics Kanti is kind of a controversial YouTube channel. Now, I, I will let you know why it is controversial. First of all, let me just show you this project. So first of all, this was the project using which you can change your voice to any random, maybe robotic voice, maybe alien voice. You can change the frequency and the like a type of your voice using like wearing this 3D printed mask. So this is one of the interesting projects and he made a lot of interesting projects this month. The second is this induction of, we can say, heating machine in which you can put your glass or metal thing inside this particular coil and it will heat up, okay? Now, if we look at, if we consider this particular project only, this is an amazing project. It got an amazing view, like 448,000 views. Uh, just a second. 448,000 views uh, this video got within a week. So this is an amazing, like, super popular video. But what happens is this project lacks with, or rather this video lacks with a lot of things. No doubt it's an interesting and useful project, but it lacks with proper explanation of this particular project. It lacks with uh, temperature control, like it will heat on and on, on and on. It will, I don't know, will it stop heating or not at a particular moment, but it has a lack of documentation, lack of proper explanation and lack of proper circuit diagram, I think. So in some of the video, not every video, okay. So these are all kind of things which makes robotics Kanzi videos a bit controversial and bit like we are not, uh, you know, we are not getting convinced with it is it possible to make it or not we are not getting convinced because of lack of documentation okay uh, and he made uh, this project as well in which we can just you know show our palm to turn on and off the appliances he made his own lcd which i think it is copied from some of the youtuber i don't remember the name but yeah still it's a nice effort that he made this touch screen and this tesla call he made a lot of projects this month all of them seems interesting at first but they lack with proper explanation. So that's the thing which makes Robotics Kanti a bit controversial all the time, but they are super popular videos. As you can see, this video crosses 1 million views within a week, like super popular. So yeah, these are the projects which I find interesting from this channel, like almost all projects were interesting. Okay, next is coming from uh, DD Electrotech. Now, this is kind of a toy which I have played with in my childhood, okay? So this is not something new, but what it what is new in this video is, he tried to make it on its own. So DIY version of this particular robot that can, you know, this particular robo car that can run on a wall, run on a ceiling is a very new thing. As you can see, this is climbing on the wall and it can run on the ceiling as well. It has a suction motor that's, you know, keep it stuck with that particular wall. So this DIY version seems very interesting. As you can see, it's running on the ceiling upside down. Okay. So this is an interesting DIY project and I like them. I like it. I like it. That's why I included it in this tech update video last but really not the least is coming from the electro noob side which is a stereo wireless speakers again this is not a new project after watching this video i came to know that one other creator already made this project but what to do i i used to follow this guy and i used to uh, i saw this project first time on his channel so i i like recommended this video only so what he does is he made a wireless bluetooth speaker now making a wireless bluetooth speaker is not a big deal any random like you can find tons of video making wireless bluetooth speaker like diy version on youtube there are tons of video but what makes this video different is he tried to make a stereo version of it stereo version that too without any wire 
wireless stereo bluetooth speaker diy that that is that he did but it's it's not like a diy <laughs> what it did is he just took out the uh like bluetooth earbuds that are super cheap nowadays and super popular the small little earbuds are same like bluetooth stereo earbuds he just removed the speaker from it connected those wires to the amplifier and amplifier wires are connected to the speaker so this is how he made it so we can't say it completely diy it's kind of you know dismantling one product and making it out in an in a different way so that's that's the thing but it's super easy to make and uh, that's why I included in this tech update video and uh, yeah that that's the last update which uh, i wanted to keep it in the ttt the tech update with tech sms august 2021 edition that being said i hope you find this video series interesting i hope you find something new from it do let me know what was the one thing which you were not at all aware about before watching this video or is this particular series adding some values to your life do let me know your thoughts in the comment of the video and that being said i'm just ending this video here now just wait for next video in this world and share with me tech sms